the idea of gravitational entropy. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So he's looking at this whole rubber sheet type. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, all we can say is, uh, by the way, it's not just matter that will bend space, it's energy as well, because matter and energy are equivalent That's right. through equals mc squared. Nice. So just be brought, be more complete addressing it that way. If Since the curvature of space and time is the manifestation of matter and energy, if you remove the matter and energy, there's no reason for the space time could be, to be curved at all. Matter and energy, there's no reason for the space time could be, to be curved at all. I'm given no reason to think that space would have any shape other than flat after you remove the, the items that would curve it. Right. Keep in mind, however, the expanding or contracting universe itself has a shape unrelated to the gravity of objects it contains. Right. And this is why we talked about is it an open universe, a closed universe, or a flat universe. And those are large scale properties that are not related to just one galaxy or another. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Very cool, man. That's a great question, DJ. Yeah. I know. No, no. These people are thinking. I love it. This is Keith Johnson uh, from NorCal. And Keith says, uh, can we think of a universal now based on the point of view of an observer? In other words, my now. 